Professor Moyenberg, which potential have inorganic membranes in supporting climate protection or the German energy transition? Okay, membranes are uh, layers which enables the separation of two different fractions from each other. Mm -hmm. The big advantage of a membrane is that it needs a low energy demand for the separation process. So in one potential uh, application is the application in the membrane reactor. That means in addition to the separation of the gas fractions uh, of the different gases, uh, we have a, a chemical reaction or one or both sides of the membrane. And by this reaction we can produce uh, synthetic energy carriers which can be used uh, in times Uh, this can be combusted in times where we have no wind or sunshine. For which industrial processors do membranes bring advantages? That's a different, uh, difficult question because in principle you can use membranes for a lot of different separation processes. Mm -hmm. So the question is not, not where the membrane works, the question is uh, where it is cost effective, where you need a low energy demand and where you have advantages uh, regarding competing technologies. So one possibility I've already mentioned is the uh, application in a membrane reactor for production of uh, synthetic energy carriers or commodity chemicals. The second possibility is uh, in principle all separation processes from liquids to gases, for example the production of oxygen from air or the production of hydrogen from gas mixtures. But what are the challenges in the production of thin film membranes? If you want to produce a membrane, it, it has to be a thin film membrane because only a thin film membrane has a high performance. But if you can imagine a membrane which is only 10 micrometer or maybe only 100 nanometer thick, it has no uh, freestanding mechanical stability. So you need a support for such a membrane mm -hmm. and then your problems start because if you have a support, it must be highly porous, 40%, with pores in the range of several micrometers. And if you, for example, have a, has a support which a porosity, which a pore of 10 microns, and you want to add a layer of 10 micrometer on top of it, then you have maybe a problem that your slurry goes into the pore, mm. and then you have a defect. That means you have to find manufacturing routes where you can coat such a membrane on top of the support, or You do it uh, in another way, you produce first your membrane and in the second step you coat the support on top of it.